Hey guys. Hey buddies. It's a new day and I'm in a new spot. And honestly, there is nothing out here. I haven't seen one mushroom. I've been out here for like two hours. So I'm switching over to looking for cordyceps instead because might find them a little bit easier. I hit up one of my mushroom friends. He's like an expert in all kinds of cordyceps. And I was asking him what trees to look for because I thought it was like certain trees, but apparently they'll grow on the branches and underside leaves of like any tree pretty much. So I'm just gonna, what? Is that one? I think I found one. What the fuck? I don't know if that is one or what. It's definitely an ant, but I don't know if you can see it. I don't see an actual cordyceps, but that's a pretty good sign, huh? Ooh, that'd be so much fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna go around and look at branches, like underside branches here and underside leaves and see what I can find. And hopefully get some cool macro photos and find some cool shit in the woods. So let's go. I wish I knew my trees and stuff better. So I'm just gonna like look under leaves here, look on the branches, see what I can find. But yeah, they're just on this tree right here. I don't know what this is. Can you see them? Right there. I'll try to get better pictures of them. But yeah, there's a bunch of them over here. This is so cool. I was just about to turn around too. I'm so glad I didn't. So these guys are a fungus that will attack ants and it'll attack its brain and like force it to climb up these trees and then it can release its spores down on other ants in this area so it's metal as fuck dude and i also there's some paper out about how it might not be attacking its brain it might be just like controlling its muscles instead or something i don't know there needs to be more research but this is so cool. I'm so glad I found some. So I'm gonna take these back and try to get some macro photos. And probably gonna look around a little bit more because now I'm hyped up. At least I know they're out here right now. So I'm excited. Cool. Okay, I grabbed a couple of them. I'm gonna go back to my campsite and try to get some cool macro photos. Yay! Guess what I have to do? Empty my freaking toilet. It's gonna suck ass too. Cause this thing doesn't uh, see it right away. It kinda leaks. So I'm gonna like put it in a trash can first, I guess. That's what I get for buying the cheapest one. <laughs> Still better than pissing the dang bottle. That's for damn sure. I'm at a trailhead right now, so. There's like a bathroom right here, so I figured this is like the best place to do it because I can't imagine walking into like Cracker Barrel or Walmart with my piss jug. Okay, 
so this thing like doesn't seal all the way so it leaks out of there we'll see how this goes I think it's okay this time actually okay Way easier this time, actually. Sweet, that wasn't too bad. Cool. That was way better than I thought. Let's get out of here. All right, you guys, so I got my specimens over here and I'm gonna do some macro photography. And I usually have like a specimen holder to like hold this up so I can take pictures. And I guess I forgot to bring it, so we'll see how that goes. But I got my Olympus and so I use a 60 milliliter lens and I also have a little magnifier that I can add to it called a Raynex 250 and I also have these extension tubes which I'll hook on and this just allows me to magnify like way harder than I usually would be able to so first we got the extension tubes and then I'll put my 60 milliliter lens. And then I have to add this little ring so it fits on there. Because this is a micro two thirds camera. So we got the magnifier. Boom. There we go. So. This is my simple little tripod that I use. It's kind of shitty because it kind of moves around. It's not super stable, but I like it because it's super easy to bring around. It's lightweight and it can move. It's just the easiest thing to work with when I'm outside. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I kind of got a cool shot here. I had to like rig it up and put it up against this black background, which, I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but I think I can edit that to make it look a little bit better. But it's pretty cool. I'm excited to see how it turns off out when I'm editing it. So much fun. You guys, I'm super proud of this picture I just took. Holy shit. That's fucking epic, dude. I'm gonna print that out and hang that up in my house if I ever get one. It's so badass, dude. It took me like an hour to actually get that, finally. But, I'm super proud of that. It's freaking awesome. Yay! I tried to get some spores earlier, but I realized I have no idea what I'm doing because this is a different kind of creature. It's not the same as mushrooms. These have a ascospore, so it's a little bit different. Um, I asked my mushroom friend again, the guy who knows everything about uh, cordyceps and whatnot, and he said to like create a little chamber, a humidity chamber, and let the spores rain down on like a, a dish thing. So. I'm gonna try that. That's what I do when I was breeding the Cordyceps Militaris too. So that makes total sense. So I'm gonna put, um, actually I'm probably gonna go get some more, try to find some more of these tomorrow and then try to get spores. So that'll be fun to look at under the microscope. Good morning. I slept pretty dang good last night. So nice to be at a campground instead of freaking crack and burrow. There's no crackheads, unless you count children as crackheads, which they kind of are, so. But anyways, I'm gonna start my day off, get some coffee, make some oatmeal, and then hit the road. Well, 
I'm gonna go hiking and biking and try to find some other cool shit. So we'll see how it goes.